how long this video is going to be and uh, my uh, recording must be six and a half hours we're trying to keep them to 10 to 15 minutes last video was a little bit longer 28 minutes uh, just because it was a really really long morning and it was very very far that we traveled yeah thanks if you made it all the way through yeah if you watched it all the way through i can't believe when you have 60 video uh, 60 views and it took me about five and a half hours to edit 60 hours and about that. 60 hours to upload it yeah right right now with it but anyway um, copyright music. I am trying every music channel possible to get music that I don't get copyright on and it is appearing to be a real pain in the posterior. Uh, anyway, yeah, I'm not quite sure. I can feel raindrops. Um, we are really casting it. It is absolutely minging weather at the moment. But uh, I did have a question that was fired at me in my last video. Um, obviously we all know Tom because I talk about Tom a lot because Tom's my buddy and my pal. Tony, so just in case you guys wanted to know that, really useless information. I do have another name, but um, he calls me Tony. Um, and if you can guess what the other name is, um, pretty easy, really. And then put it in the description below. You um, do answer to other names as well. Though, yeah, you? I do answer to other names, and it's not. Not bad. <laughs> well, it is. Sorry? I think, well, it is. <laughs> Down, bud. Let's go. Fins. Tom's doing a really good job, no flight fins. Try something different. It's close there, isn't it? Yeah. Um, and they're saying about how you've got to really tune your riding. Obviously, with flight fins, you can get away with it a lot more because the border goes off camber, your, feet, your top of your feet kind of catch it. You can pull it around a little bit more, I feel. Yeah, but with obviously no flight fins. Yeah. Whereas before, when I would like bonk stuff or jump stuff, I would almost like jump into the fins knowing that my feet wouldn't leave the board. Whereas now you've kind of got to let the board do the work. And, and you go you go with the board. Yeah, and de-weight more than actually physically jumping. So if you bolted flight pins back on, would your riding now be better? Um, I don't know. I'd probably be more aggressive again. Yeah, I think you do really well without them, mate, to be honest. I do fancy it myself. But there's obviously, we ride a lot of off-camera stuff up here. There's, it is very rooty, especially like the off-piece kind of uh, sections we do. And the, the fins definitely keep you locked in. Yeah, I find that they do help me, help my riding. It feels to me more like snowboarding yeah. for me, because I like my feet bolted to something. Yeah. If I could screw my shoes to this board, I would do. Yeah. The problem is you fall off the board goes with you. Right. Crap. 
back on. Okay, guys, what I am actually trying to say over this horrendous wind and obviously the miserable rain is a massive thank you to all the recent subscribers. Thank you for everybody who's watched the channel and watched the videos that we've uploaded. Basically, ski waxing, obviously my BMX builds. So I'm getting still quite a lot of comments on that for my mini. And obviously the one wheeling, which a lot of you do love and watch. We try and bring a bit of a story along with the channel um, and the videos that we do more so than obviously just kind of like bullet points and action and all that kind of stuff stuff 
you know, we're just trying to bring you along the journey of what we do, what we talk about, and uh, good or bad, boring or not boring, really. We just love bringing content, and that's really what we're trying to do, or I'm trying to do, especially with the ski waxing. It's just trying to fill the channel up with interesting stuff, but also feed my clients with uh, an interesting customer service skill so they can see what their skis look like before and after. But we're going to pull over in a second, check out Tom's trousers with no fender on his one wheel. It is causing him a little bit of a challenge up here. And uh, guess what? It only gets worse. Anyway, catch up with you in a bit. What is going on? Dirty shoes. Dirty trousers. <laughs> guys as you've just seen uh, Tom's trousers we've dusted the trail going over to a drop we're gonna do which we've done in a previous video check this out this isn't because I'm nervous <laughs> <laughs> it is proper way hello mate Tom is a lot smaller than I, I cannot. Okay guys, we're going to go over to a drop now that we've hit in multiple videos, but today is very wet, the wood is going to be wet. I'm going to upload a quick video now of us hitting this when the weather was a lot better and showing you some epic falls as well as us officially achieving it. But Tom's going to hit it with his WTF rails, no flight fins on this very wet and sketchy day. So let's have a quick look at us hitting this before. Well done. There's not a lot wrong with you. You actually wanted to attempt it is what's wrong with you. say is everything these machines are so capable it's just in your head isn't it yeah and that is really slippery that is slippery you've added another layer of trickle yeah that's my trousers to be fair mate you look quite clean oh no <laughs> it looks nice and clean <laughs> oh, my left trouser is so heavy it's pulling them down <laughs> Oh my god, that is just epic. Look at that, what a mess. Winter trail riding, flight fins, um, sorry, fender. Yes, please. 
And this is back to the question that we said about the fender fitting the flight fin mount. Because you have a fender to fit the flight fin mount, you don't need to mount the flight fins to the mount, but yet you'll have the protection for winter trail riding. So if anybody has a fix for that, somebody did actually say about putting a spacer underneath the front one, but you'd have to take your fender deletes off. So. has rain for like four days and yeah. this is what you get on a hill in Devon. Devon hills in the forest. But guys yeah massive thanks to you for watching. Really do appreciate it. And uh, yeah don't forget hit that like hit that subscribe. Cheers buddy. Uh, until next time though until we hit the trails hopefully a little bit drier. So yeah, the sun has now come up, the blue skies are out, but the ground is still sopping wet. But guys, thanks for tuning in though. Don't forget, hit that like, hit that subscribe, and we will. He nailed it. See you soon, guys. Thanks for tuning in.